ladies and gentlemen i'm sorry i'm haven't uploaded for two weeks but i'm uh, on holiday in austria at the moment and i'm at one of these sort of clip and climb tree parks and there's no health and safety here you literally to climb up here you just climb up the trees the branches of the trees in the uk that would just be unthinkable so it's quite cool uh anyway let's get back in the van all right let's get back to work Okay, so this morning's job is we're heading down to South London and I think it's in Tooting. I think we're heading to Tooting. Um, and we've got some outside lighting and customers got a very nice garden and they've just had it all landscaped. It's all very pretty, lots of artificial grass and all the rest of it. Uh, and there's lots of uplighters for the trees and stuff. So we've got to connect all of that. So on this job here, I'm not going to be using armoured cable for any of this outside lighting. I'm going to be using what's called high tough. Now high tough is like, it's a lighter duty version of armoured cable essentially. And it's still, it's still quite flexible, but it's just not as laborious to install as armoured is. So when you're doing outside lighting and you've got, like I've got here, where you've got like a dozen whisker boxes you've got to connect to, doing it in armoured, is much bulkier and it's harder to hide it's you know for, for delicate work like in flower beds it's just harder to work with armored so i'm using this high tough something's just crashed in the back of my van so i'm going to be using high tough um, with some 20 mil plastic copex over the top of it we'll run it along the edge of a flower bed to a whisk to whisker boxes you wouldn't reasonably expect somebody to be using a great big shovel in a little flower bed you know if you're going to be if you're doing anything in flower beds you're going to be using a little hand trowel you know just putting a few plants in you're not going to be doing big heavy work in flower beds so if you were running a cable across a lawn or something yes i'd use arm but it's per you know you need something much heavier duty in a flower bed um personally i don't think it needs to be as heavy duty although that said high tough to be honest if you ever take a piece of high tough and actually try and damage it it's really strong stuff you know um it's surprisingly strong so we'll go and have a look at it now you can come have a look at it and see what you think so we're now at our first job in south london um i'll pan the camera around so you can see what i'm doing so we're doing some outside lights today so this is the garden we've got they've literally just finished landscaping it so it's uh they've actually done a very nice job it's artificial grass here um so yeah and then we've got a load of these lights here which we've got to basically hook up just so they illuminate up into these trees. In the corner down there there's a weatherproof whisker box um, and I've just mounted those on the wall and we've got some high tough um, cable which is basically just going in and out of these boxes and then these are the lights and I've just run the the cable on these is factory fitted so I've just put it in a bit of 20 mil plastic copex and just run it under the bark to the box over there um, and I'll do the same again with the high tough um, I've got to run a bit of copex in there actually um, and that's basically it so it's a nice straightforward job quite a long job there's quite a lot of lights here to do but it's a beautiful job here and I've got to fit a socket here somewhere so that's the other job I've got to do so yeah uh, first thing I'm going to do is fit the socket, so let's do that first.
bags. Next job, let's go. Okay, so here's one that I've just finished. So this is the little flower bed in the middle of the garden. So there's the whisker box, which I've just screwed on the wall there like that. And all I've done is just taken some 20 mil Copex with some adapter with an adapter on it, taken it into the box. I've just used normal connectors. Um, and the reason I've done that is just because you've got a solid core and you've got a stranded core and trying to put them in pushing connectors is a bit of a chore. So I'm using connect, um, just the good old fashioned connectors like that. Uh, and I've just literally just run it down the base of the garden like that. And it just goes into the light fitting there. So basically I've just got to repeat that process all the way around the garden. So I'm not going to bother recording all of them because they're essentially all exactly the same. But what I'll do is once I've finished, uh, once I've put the cup, got to put the cover back on and stuff. But once I've done this one, I'll, um, I'll head into the basement and you can have a look at the intake down there because it's actually quite a smart job someone's done down there. Um, so we'll go down there and we'll have a little look at that uh, a smidge later on. So while I'm out here working, it just occurred to me that um, I should probably mention that I'm using whisker gel to fill all these boxes, which is this stuff here. So I'm using it in disposable tubes. Now you can buy it two ways. You can buy it in, um, in, a, in a mixable format. So you have two tubes, you mix them together, stir it, and then you pour it into your box like that. Um, I'm doing it in this because it's ready mixed and you just literally cut it, use it, and then whatever you haven't used, just throw it away. If you're in a garden like this, um, you'll get through, I mean, this garden here will probably use about five liters on its own. So you do get through it quite quickly. Um, and it's ever such good stuff. But I mean, essentially you just literally, you, you, your connections go in there and you just literally, you just take this, fill the box up and then it comes out very thick and gloopy and you kind of have to just you have to break it with your hand but once you put the lid back on what you'll find is after about if you leave it for about 10 minutes it'll level out it's kind of like self-leveling compound it's a really weird stuff but basically if you leave it for about 10 minutes it seals itself around all the cables and basically it gives you an ip68 rated waterproof connection so you don't have to use it. I mean, theoretically, these whisker boxes I'm using are IP67 rated, I think. But it's just not worth the callback in 12 months' time because condensation has got into one of the boxes or something. So I find whenever you're doing outdoor stuff like this, um, for the sake of, you know, for the sake of 50 quid in gel, it's just worth it. it's worth doing it just for the peace of mind that when you get in your van you know that every single connection you've done are all totally waterproof it's worth bearing in mind um, personally that's what i'd recommend using disposable tubes like that all right i'm back in the van i've just literally i'm just going down to go and get something to eat because it's lunchtime and i'm a little bit peckish and quite thirsty so i'll go get something to eat and we will reconvene back in the garden after I've had lunch. See you later. So I'm in the switch room now. This house actually has its own room dedicated for um, fuse boards, the server for all the IT equipment in the house. Um, I mean, it's a really big house. Uh, and this is the fuse board. It's quite a neat job. So this is the supply coming in. So we've got a PME system coming in, goes up to an earth block. And then from there, you've got two, two fuse boards, one on top of the other. So essentially it's like a, a big, big double stacked fuse board. So this will be probably similar to what I'll be fitting at this um, house rewire over in Chelsea when I start it. So it's quite a neat job. I quite liked it when I saw that. I thought that was quite neat the way they've done that. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what this board here is for. This is like a third little board. I'm not sure. Sprinkler system. Yeah, it's a sprinkler system, I think. So don't know. 
So yeah, um, just thought I'd show you that because it's quite a neat, um, quite a neat job. I thought that was quite a nice, quite a nice job. Whoever did that. All right, boys and girls. Uh, I didn't get a lot of footage towards the end of the day because I just I ran out of time being able to set tripods up and stuff. But it's all on. It's all working. So here's the end result. Um, so you've got the uplighters underneath each of the trees, um, and they just go all the way around, as you can see. There is actually a um, a light underneath the underneath the deck, which I don't know if you'll be able to make out. Oh, yeah, you can. Ugh, sorry. Yeah, so there's a light underneath the seating area as well. So underneath the seat, all we've got is, uh, I don't know how well the camera can make it out, but there's an LED strip, and there's a power supply just there, and that's the mains coming into it. There's an LED driver in there. Um, yeah, so that's the power supply for these LED lights under the bench. And essentially all I've done is you've just got, I've got the whisker boxes and I've just screwed, I've just drilled them into the wall, just so that they're not on the bed and the water won't get into them. Um, and I've just used the high tough cable with some Copex over the top of it just to give it a bit of extra protection. But that's basically it. So. So that's it boys and girls, the job is done. Uh, if you would like to subscribe to this pokey little channel, then you want to be clicking in this corner up here. If you're of the opinion that you think you might like to subscribe, but you want to watch another video first just to make sure, then you want to be clicking in this corner up here. So thank you very much for watching guys, because I really appreciate it. I don't know about anyone else, but I do. So I'm now in Balham, so I've got a long drive home, and I will see you next Monday. Thank you very much for watching, and good night.